Welcome to the finale of Let's Build the Ultimate Theme Park and Planet Coaster. My name's Attacking Toucans, and by the end of this episode, we will have finally finished the largest and greatest virtual theme park ever created, I think. Somebody might need to fact check me on that, but I don't know if anybody has ever built a virtual theme park as large and as detailed as this one. Which, can we pause a moment and just reflect on how crazy it is that I was able to build this theme park in the first place? When I started building this theme park five years ago, I had no idea how large and how detailed this theme park would be. When I started the series, I think the game was only out for about six months, and there wasn't any DLC, no updates to the game, it was just like the base planet coaster, and I just set on the quest to build the largest theme park, and as I was building it over the years, the creators of Planet Coaster, Frontier Studios, started dropping DLC packs with a lot of new scenery and additions and features, and this game just became the craziest, most open sandbox game ever. I think like 30 episodes into the series, they added a feature that allows you to expand the boundaries of your park, giving me twice the amount of park size. So originally the park was going to be half the size of what it is now, but then they allowed me to expand the borders and I was able to double the size and double the amount of rides and coasters. And in the process, I became a better builder and applied all of my new building techniques to the whole entire theme park in general. And this whole entire theme park has become a culmination of about 1,500 hours of building time, along with another like 1,000 hours of editing and making the videos over the series. So there's like 2,500 hours of labor put into this park, and I can't wait to show it off on the final tour. Speaking of the final tour, how am I going to do that? This park is gigantic, and I'm sure lots of you guys are wondering what I have planned for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a mini-series after this that is dedicated to touring this park that is going to be around five episodes long, maybe six, kind of depends, maybe some bonus episodes. I actually have a lot of stuff planned, but this mini-series is going to have much higher production quality than this building series does because I have a lot more investment put into the park now than I did whenever I started the series. So it's good to have a lot of editing. I'm going to show the name and stats of every single ride in the park. And I'm also going to show you guys the name of every store and restaurant in the park along with labeling and showing like an overview of just pretty much everything. Like you're gonna see every single nook and cranny in the tour. And I'm gonna have two versions of the tour as well. One where it's just the theme park sounds and none of my voice so you can kind of just like get immersed into it and then another with commentary where I kind of describe everything and just talk about it. Also for the rest of this video I'm going to talk a bit more quietly because I just had my wisdom teeth removed about five or six days ago so my mouth is still healing so I don't want to open my mouth too large as I'm speaking because I don't want to add any injury to my mouth. So something else you're going to see me do in this final video is I'm adding like lots of little finishing details along with some like video game characters to add as little easter eggs throughout the park because you guys know I'm a big gamer so if I were to make a theme park I'd probably try to get lots of video game representation in said theme park. And I'm going to show you guys myself adding some of the video game characters and some of the easter eggs but there's also going to be a lot of stuff I add outside of the recording that you guys can only see as easter eggs by watching the final tour video. There's tons of just little things that I added to this park that you're not gonna be able to see unless you watch the tour video and I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be a treat. But yeah, so this final episode is dedicated to me going through and adding all the finishing details that I've forgotten to add. Pretty much everything's been built at this point and just little tiny decorations and little odd and in things are left. And there's like some details that I'm adding now that I was holding off on because I was afraid that I, there was going to be some sort of item limit and I wouldn't be able to build other stuff. But now that I've built everything that I wanted to, I can come through and add all these little finishing details and make everything polished. Now I have to say, I'm really happy with pretty much everything in the park. I think it all looks really good. And it all looks really finished and polished up. Now I could have added like more details obviously like you can never stop adding details 
but I was just afraid of adding too many scenery pieces. So pretty much everything that I built is like a kind of like simplified version of my ideas just to kind of like convey what I was thinking without overdoing it. <laughs> Speaking of overdoing it, we're adding a dance floor. <laughs> this diner needed something to spice it up a little bit. So we gave it some lights, some, some more pizzazz, and the doors are open. At this point, the interior of every building inside the theme park is pretty much decorated, which the outside of the theme park's looking great, but the interior of all the buildings is also starting to look pretty good. And now, of course, we have to add a little bit of my favorite intellectual property, Pikmin. I freaking love Pikmin. So on the swing towards the front of the park, I just added lots of Pikmin just like chilling around the line, and it makes it just that much more special to me. But in this park, we have lots of representation from different intellectual properties. From Nintendo itself, we have the whole entire Mario Land, the Hyrule Zelda Castle, and the whole Pokemon Park with several Pokemon rides. And then we have the roller coaster in the city themed after Spider-Man, so we have some superhero representation. We have the Star Wars roller coaster, so we have some of that sci-fi going on. We have Elsa's Ice Jump and a little bit of Disney representation in the park. We have the Avatar The Last Airbender coaster, Dragon of the West. We have the little Animal Crossing theme section. We have little cameos from the Sonic the Hedgehog crew, Cuphead, Crash Bandicoot, Captain Falcon Among Us, Metroid. We have just tons of little Easter eggs in this park and you'll be able to see everything in the tour video. And even though we have so many IPs in the park, there's still more areas and rides in the park that are just their own original thing for the theme park than there is rides that are attached to an IP. The Planet Coaster universe in general just has a lot of its own brands that we were able to use for lots of the food stands and more generic areas of the park. Like this game just has so much charm that you're able to inject into your own theme parks. It's so good. But yeah, this theme park has like over 50 rides and over 50 facilities, including like the restrooms, restaurants, hotels, arcades, and stuff like that. Over a hundred places you can go in this theme park. So I can't wait to make this tour video because the tour video is going to have much higher production value than this series. I want the production value and editing of the final tour video to match the quality of the theme park itself. And while this time-lapsed Let's Build series is still really good, it's still kind of sloppy editing. It's mostly a compilation of time-lapse footage put together. There's not many graphics or cool editing tricks. It's just, it, it does what it does and it's good for what it is. But the editing of the final tour video is definitely going to showcase a lot more of my editing prowess, I would say. And also all the footage of the final tour is going to be silky and smooth like butter because I'm going to be recording it all in 25% speed and then speeded it up to 100. That way there's no frame droppings and we get to experience this theme park in the best quality possible. But now we're adding the last decorations to the last stations of the park, which are the coasters and the oriental section. On um, this blue coaster that goes around the parking lot, I added a bunch of glowing mushrooms around the station and I named the coaster the Glowing Serpent. So it has this like glowing, just blue aesthetic to it. And then the coaster across from it I'm going to have it glowing red and more warm tones so there can be a contrast, a blue and red contrast across the lane. But a lot of the finishing work is in fact lighting as it usually is. Things are always too dark, but it cannot always be night. So I do plan to make the finishing tour series. And along with that, I'm thinking about even adding some bonus episodes with some other video concepts. One video concept is going to be pretty simple. I'll have a video that's a compilation of riding all the roller coasters in the park. I'm sure a lot of people would enjoy something like that. But I also want to have a video or two that is from the first person perspective of a guest just walking around and exploring the park for a while. I'd also like to do a video where I try to put my computer to the test and see how many people I can add to the theme park before it crashes. Because you can typically add 10,000 guests to your park. And I'm wondering, could I fit five, 6,000 guests in this park? It would be interesting to see. And also since my park tour video is probably gonna bring some new traffic to my channel, 
I kind of want to just make some other Planet Coaster content as well. I want to make some video essays talking about stuff I'd want in Planet Coaster 2, some things that I think should be in Planet Coaster 2 that are already in Planet Zoo, maybe a video showcasing the things that I dislike about the theme park, or a video kind of showcasing all the little tricks that I learned about theme park building that I applied to this theme park. If you guys have any ideas of like bonus content videos that you guys would like to see about this theme park, let me know in the comment section below in this video because over the next few weeks I'm going to be spending a lot of time just making different theme park related content along with getting into some new randomizer stuff. Also, on the first video of the park tour, I'm going to announce an art contest that I did mention earlier in this series where I'm going to have people design a park map for this theme park that kind of fits the art style of other theme park maps. So if that's something that you're interested in participating in, then look out for the details that I'm going to be releasing on the first episode of the theme park tour video. And then once I'm done touring the theme park, I'm gonna make a video like showcasing the best maps and choosing the winner who's gonna get some sort of cash prize. Something else I did is I found out how many scenery pieces and objects are in this theme park by selecting every single piece in the park. And it was so laggy, it took like 10 minutes for it to count them all. But there is about 190,000 objects, roughly, inside this theme park. 190,000. I actually thought there was gonna be more, but that's still a lot of objects that I have individually placed in this park. And all of them put together is what creates the Toucan Kingdom. It's pretty, pretty magnificent. Now I think a big question a lot of people are gonna have is when is the second ultimate theme park? And my answer to that is probably once they release Planet Coaster 2. I have no intentions of building another theme park of this size in Planet Coaster but I do want to play a lot more Planet Coaster in like other theme parks and other projects. One thing I've never done that I would love to do is put all of my focus into just one ride and making one ride with 100% of my scenery focus put into that instead of like spreading it out and making the whole entire park look nice. Because when you put all of your effort into just one ride, you can make some phenomenal stuff. Like there are some crazy videos of singular rides on Planet Coaster. I think the thing that sets this theme park apart from just like some of those other rides that are definitely much like cooler than any of the rides that are in this theme park is that this theme park is just one big coherent finished product that is just polished everywhere. Like I don't think I missed a spot and once we toured the park you'll kind of see what it looks like. <laughs> now the one ride that did not make the cut is the River Rapids ride that I started building down here in the cave that was gonna have an upside down theme where everything was upside down. Unfortunately, I just don't think my computer can handle that at the moment, so we can't add anything new. But I am wondering in the future if I upgrade my computer even more, maybe add the new 3080 graphics card or upgrade other pieces, if I could continue adding onto the park and maybe we could have some bonus episodes where I add some new rides and we even add some more details as some like new construction. We'll have to see. I honestly have no idea about that. Maybe we'll cross the bridge and me possibly adding more rides after I'm done touring everything we've built now because the park is officially done 1.0. We're good. I, I just gotta, I gotta call it quits for a moment and just put out a finished product, you know? But I am fully satisfied with this finished product and I think it's just a good representation of this game and what you can do with it and it's just a good representation of what simulation games are and what they can be and what they can move on to be in the future because the thing that this game is like six years old now and probably started development 10 years ago like imagine the new types of simulation games we're gonna get in the future like it's gonna be freaking unreal bro just thinking back to my childhood where the original Roller Coaster Tycoon was the only option 
and then having my mind blown Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 came out and they just added new scenery and rides and then Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 came out and the game became three dimensional and then we had to wait a full decade but then eventually Planet Coaster came out and it really took theme park simulation up another notch. And now it's been six years since Planet Coaster got released and maybe in four more years we're gonna see Planet Coaster 2 with even crazier technology to boot. And that is it. That is the end of the time-lapse footage for the Ultimate Theme Park. I think we should just finish off the series by flying over the behemoth that we've created and just taking it all in. The past week I've been dedicating my time to creating the series Touring the Park and I am halfway done with the park touring series and I think you guys are going to be very, very satisfied with the final result and product that we get to enjoy and explore. This park has so much to explore, and I can't wait to ride every single ride with you guys. Now, before we finish up the series, I gotta give out some thank yous. I wanna thank the developers of Planet Coaster working at Frontier Studios, who worked to develop such an amazing game that allowed me to build to my soul's content. Thank you, thank you so much for making such a phenomenal game with so many features that allow you to do whatever you want. I want to thank all the people who made and uploaded custom scenery onto the Theme Maker's Toolkit. Your custom scenery pieces are half of what made this theme park so amazing and so special and kept driving me to add on to it because I was just so inspired by all the new scenery pieces. And then also, I want to thank all the viewers for spending your time watching this series, allowing me to make monetization from these videos and be able to pay my bills while creating a theme park. And also for all the people who left comments encouraging me and letting me know that you enjoy the series, like, that gives me so much positive energy that helps fuel me and continue making the series. And if it wasn't for you guys watching and interacting, I definitely would have not made this theme park what it is today. So thank you guys so much for all your support, and I hope you guys stick with me for what's to come. Oh shoot, oh shoot, a ton of guests seem to be heading to the Toucan Kingdom as we speak. Okay, well... You know what that means. That means we gotta give them some entertainment. They've been waiting five years to see this finished park. So let's show it to them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's build the ultimate theme park. My name's Tyler Cedarwall, and I will see you guys on the tour of the finished and complete Toucan Kingdom. See you then.